Hey, YouTube Brando here. Just doing another uh, tobacco garden update. <clears throat> uh, we got most of them weeded out, and you can tell uh, we've got most of the bottom leaves harvested. Uh, I've had a few of them flower on me. Looks like we're going to get some seed pods uh, after all. Uh, the pest, the worms were uh, tobacco horn worms. I guess it's the same thing as a tomato horn worm, but you can tell they they uh, munched up most of my leaves. Uh, actually, we found some on the leaves that were curing inside, and we washed them in buckets of water. Uh, dunked the whole leaf down in water and then sprayed it with water uh, just to get the loose shit off, you know, that didn't come off in the bucket of water, so. I don't know how they got past me, but uh, we looked up on the ones that were curing, and them suckers were on there just going to town. So, and they were big. We got some more flowers on this one. A couple little seed pods. I found out that uh, wasps are. Uh, this one's just going crazy with flowers. So hopefully I get a bunch of seeds off it and you see how big this one is it's it's all of six and a half foot tall you know I'm this tall so it's six and a half foot look at that little that thing just never did anything never can't explain why it didn't do anything but it sure didn't we we'll get all the leaves harvested off the bottom of this one. They were turning yellow, so we went ahead and pulled them and dried them out. Uh, but yeah, they say uh, there we go, right there. Them little buggers is right there. Damn it! So. I guess you really got to be vigilant with these things. Go ahead and cut them in half. Chunk the body. Uh, I guess I need to be coming out here every night and looking them over. And I can't explain why these are not flowering. Uh, they were growing at the same time. I haven't topped them or anything. These either. And this is the one that has a... <laughs> three different uh, sections so potentially I could have had flowers from here here and here and nothing and then there's that little bugger the ones in the pots did not do well uh, that's the best one right there and it's not really good at all I'm sorry about the yard we uh, we've been out of town at the land uh, off and on for the past two weeks so I haven't had a chance to do anything to the uh, yard or grass and you can tell there's my grass people and that's about uh, two weeks without a mow <clears throat> I mowed about two weeks ago and there's most of my grass you know it's not all that tall but uh when we moved in here my dad owned this house before us he sold it to us uh, for what actually what he paid for it but uh He was a turf guy at the uh, football stadium. He was the, you know, the lawn guy, took care of the lawn. And every year he brought some kind of new seed home that was left over from seeding the football fields. And he would just lay seed in the yard. So we got about maybe 20 different kinds of grass growing around my house. And that shit is thick. Uh, you can't take that down with a weed eater. You have to actually mow it, and it'll bog down. I have a brand new pole and mower. Uh, forget how many horse it is, but it's a 42-inch cutting deck, and that grass right there will actually bog it down a little bit. So, anyways, back to the tobacco. Uh, yeah, the ones in the pots didn't do didn't do well at all. So, next year I know I'm not doing any in pots. Uh, the one with the smallest pot did the best, you know. Look at the size of that stock, and then look at the size of that one.
Look at the size of that one. Now, look at that big old bugger. You know, so next year we're going to do them all in ground and hopefully won't have as many problems with the worms tearing up my leaves because that's getting pretty annoying when I come out here and find that, you know, that leaves unusable now. So, alright YouTube, as soon as we uh get these flowers ready to seed and flowers start falling off and the pods are ready to pull, we'll do another video on them and I'll show you uh what the final harvest looks like. Uh, pretty much all of the ones we were uh, color curing have, have about finished up. We got about another week on the one that's in the batch that's in there now. And as, uh, as soon as they're up, I'll show you what the hands look like after they're put together and ready for fermentation. Alright, YouTube. Thanks for watching.